Unlike Bitcoin's muted action in Q3, maker investors have been cashing in. In Q3, BTC was down 10% as a press time, while NKR posted 77% gains per trading view. Uh, in September alone, MKR was up plus 25% based on the press time value of $1477. However, the altcoin eased slightly into the weekend, dropping from $1,600 to below $1,500 at publication time. And the extra rally from 25 September left to price imbalance and FDG of $1,326 of $1,400 on the daily chart. Uh, on the four hour chart is the price imbalance aligned with the dynamic 50 MA the 50MA uh, has acted as a dynamic support since mid-September and could make the confluence a bullish zone for lower time frame players. Uh, um, so, you know, MKR's extra pullback could ease at $1,326 and retarget the $1,600, recent higher $1,700. Uh, but the bulls must reclaim $1,500 before moving forward. Uh, conversely, a price drop below the confluence zone will flip the H4 market structure bearish and can tip sellers for leverage to devalue MKR. Uh, but sell pressure eased as shown by the sideways movement of the RSI above the 50 mark after a drop. However, the CMF extended southward movement denoting extra capital or outflows on mod chart or real time order book tracking platform. Significant sell limit orders were placed at $1,650 as shown by the extra long red mine. On the buyer side, considerable buy limit orders were placed between 1350 and 1460, as shown by green lines. The range is the confluence zone described above, which can ease further pour back uh, the negative open interest rates and volumes in the futures market uh, at press time captured uh, the recent price drop. But more uh, short positions were wrecked within four hours before press time indicating that the bulls attempted to defend the $1,400 level. Um, 